Cuba's all about deals. You just have to know where to find them. <sighs> We were walking down the streets of Little Havana. All Havana. Fuck you, Little Havana. We were walking down the street and some guy approached Carlos and I. Young Morgan Freeman walks to us to offer fake cigars. We started speaking Spanish to each other. I know Spanish. And feel had to have his fucking cigar in his mouth. Apparently, he works at a cigar factory here and smuggles out the product for people like me. I knew that something like this could happen, so I just told him that I was from Mexico, that we were from Mexico. I was holding my own. Phil always thinks that he knows how to speak Spanish just because he knows how to say gracias. I said a bunch of yo sé and si. So this guy just kept talking in Spanish. According to him, the cigars that he was offering could run for up to 240 cooks, which is $240, but he could get us some of those for 20. Phil and Carlos got stopped by a sketchy Cuban, and then they agreed to go to his fucking apartment for cigars. For fucking cigars. So he was kind enough to let us come into his house. We ended up in his shady ass house. I thought Carlos knew what he was doing. He had two boxes, one full of three cigars, one full of 15 cigars. He continues his rant on Cuban cigars and how he works at this factory and how Cuba is so safe and there's no mafia or nothing or no crime. He said Cuba was safe and there was no mafia. He pulls out this box of original cigars and I have to admit it kind of looks premium but then he pulls out another box of like 40 cigars and he demands $40. He was a nice guy. He offered me a great deal on both packages, but I could get him down. I could feel it. At this point, I just had to blow Phil's cover and start speaking English to tell him that we should get the fuck out of there. He never told me to get the fuck out of there. We ended up paying 15 cooks to get just this nice looking cigars. I felt completely safe. The guy was really pissed because he actually expected us to give him 40 bucks. There were like four or five guys outside. I don't even know if we can get arrested for having this without a stamp. Even if these are fake, they still look real and they make great for pictures. What was your major takeaway? What was my biggest takeaway? Yeah, what, what was your biggest takeaway here? Well, just the buildings, honestly. Other than that, it doesn't look that different from other Mexican or Latin American countries. Back streets, though, like, they look cheatier. So, like, the back streets are the same as where we are in other places in Atlanta? Oh, no, it's, it's very different. Really? You think it's, it's worse here? It's definitely worse here. Why do you think it's worse? Because this is like, uh, even though this is the historical district, all the back alleys and the back streets, you're not supposed to want to go there because there's nothing. The government, I guess, doesn't pay attention to them. That's where all the working class people are. Back where we are, even though there's also a bunch of working class people, there's a bunch of uh, buildings with condos and apartments. That place is for, also for tourists, but also for middle class entrepreneurs. people. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, let's get us still here and let's fucking go back.